Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday the 29th of March. Foreign ministers of India and Ukraine discuss conflict, future cooperation. Pakistan to investigate armies meddling in judiciary, says law minister. And Sri Lankan court sentences hardline Buddhist monk over Islamophobic comments. And now for all the details. India's Foreign Minister S. Jay Shankar on Friday met his Ukrainian counterpart Dmitry Kuleba in New Delhi and discussed a wide range of topics of mutual interest. Kuleba's two-day visit comes amid efforts to seek a peaceful resolution to over two-year-old Russian-Ukraine conflict. Jay Shankar taking to X said their discussions focused on the ongoing conflict and its wider ramifications. They also noted the importance of further strengthening cooperation in all domains and how to get trade back to earlier levels. Kuleba is also expected to interact with the business community in India. Last week, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi also dialed Ukraine's President Zelensky and discussed ways to further strengthen bilateral cooperation. And in a chat with Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi conversed on a range of topics including technology innovation, artificial intelligence, digital India and climate action on Thursday. The Prime Minister has repeatedly declared that India will lead the world in AI capabilities and has exhorted young entrepreneurs and startups to work on Indian solutions for global applications to solve challenges across the world. PM Modi said that the world should establish some do's and don'ts for using this technology and prevent misinformation. He further told Gates how India is looking to accelerate in the nuclear sector. Bill Gates praised India and said that the country has a digital government and that India is not only adapting technology but it is actually leading the way. Moving on. Pakistan's law minister on Thursday announced that the government will set up an inquiry commission to probe acquisitions by six high court judges of interference and intimidation by the country's powerful intelligence agencies in judicial decisions. The decision was taken after a meeting between PM Shehbaz Sharif and Chief Justice of Pakistan Qazi Faiz Isa, who received a letter from the six judges. The letter accuses the Inter-Services Intelligence, or ISI, of meddling in judicial proceedings to seek a certain outcome. The document highlights several instances of attempted coercion and intimidation by ISI officers to influence the outcome of cases related to jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan. Khan was ousted from power in April 2021 through a parliamentary vote of no confidence. He denounced the move as orchestrated by the military, allegations the institution rejected. The military has ruled Pakistan for more than three decades through coup against elected governments since the country gained independence in 1947. In the holy month of Ramadan each year, the devout in Pakistan's Karachi fast by day, but at night they come out on the streets to play cricket. This daily activity keeps them awake until pre-dawn meal, which helps them with the day's fast after. Take a look. It is close to midnight, but the floodlights are turned on in a Karachi town, drawing dozens of Pakistani men onto its streets for a tournament of Ramadan cricket. Late-night street cricket during the Muslim holy month is a tradition that dates back several decades, with Karachi being the hub of the lively matches. The participants say... Night cricket helps them stay awake until Suhoor, the pre-dawn meal, which helps them with the day's fast after. Free hote aksar aur raat jagna hota hai kyunki agar soge aapko pata hai sehri nahi milegi. Aap soge to aapke liye sehri gayi. Ab sehri gayi to roza rakhna mushkil hai. To isliye usse acha hai ki aap dusre mashgalon mein mobile mobile chalaye. Usse acha hai ki aap activity apni cricket ke zariye puri kare. The game starts after late night prayers which end about an hour ahead of midnight. This Thursday in Layari, one of Karachi's poor neighbourhoods, 
some 200 spectators turned up to watch the match through the night. हम लोग भी मैच नहीं देखने आ जाते हैं हम लोग खेल नहीं सकते तो हम लोग मैच देखते हैं काफी इंटरेस्ट आता है का शौक होता है का इनको देखने का तो ये लोग जो लड़के होते हैं ये लोग कुछ लोग जॉब करते हैं कुछ लोग पूरा दिन सोते हैं इनको आम दिनों में इतना नहीं मिल पाता टाइम जितना रमजानों में मिल जाता है तो एक ये ट्रेडिशन बन गया है कि रमजान में क्रिकेट खेलना ही खेलना है रात को मूविंग ऑन Scores of government health workers in POK who were recently terminated have alleged discrimination by Pakistani authorities and called for their reinstatement. A report. Hundreds of employees of the maternal, newborn, and child health program in POK have been holding a sit-in protest against their unfair termination and to demand reinstatement of their services. The protesters lamented that it had been nearly 15 years since their induction. and instead of giving them permanent positions and promised hike in salaries they were terminated this has left many of them shattered with no other means to earn their living aur mnch ke 1242 mulazimin ne jo hukumat e waqt mein humne inko farig kar diya gaya hai no mahine se hame salary bhi nahi mili main apne hukumat e waqt se pm sahab se aur minister sahab se ye appeal karti hu ki hamare 1242 jo mulazimin hai इन्हें मैं जिस तरह गवर्नमेंट पाकिस्तान ने नॉर्मल मेजानियत पे शिफ्ट कर दिया है इस पूरे प्रोजेक्ट को इस तरह हमारे आज़ाद कश्मीर में भी उसी एक्ट के तहत हमें नॉर्मल मेजानियत पे शिफ्ट किया जाए और हमें सत्रह दिन हो गए हैं यहाँ बैठे हुए हुकूमत के वक्त तक कोई नुमाइंदा हमारी यहाँ पे उसका अफजाई के लिए भी नहीं आया दी प्रोटेस्ट इज ब्लेम दैट दिस इज नॉट द केस इन पाकिस्तान वेर एम्प्लॉयज हैव बिन रेगुलराइज बट द पीपल इन दी ऑक्यूपाइड रीजन स्टिल डू नॉट हैव एक्सेस टू ईकुल राइट्स एंड हैव टू फेस एक्सप्लोटेशन Galagoda Athe Nanasara a hardline Sri Lankan Buddhist monk was on Thursday sentenced to 4 years of rigorous imprisonment for Islamophobic comments made in 2016 Since 2014 the 49 year old monk had faced accusations in cases regarding anti-Muslim violence hate speech and defaming the Quran In 2018 he was arrested for contempt of court in a separate case but later won a presidential pardon During the last court hearing held mid February he had tendered an apology to the Muslim community for the distress caused by his public comments Reports suggest the high court ruled that he had caused religious and communal disunity through his comments He was also additionally fined rupees 1 lakh Christian devotees across India took out processions and offered prayers in churches as they observed Good Friday According to Christian theology, Good Friday, also called Great Friday or Black Friday, is a religious event commemorating the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and his death at Golgotha Hill. For Christians all over the world, it commemorates the act that brought salvation to all who believe in Christ. The significance of this day is that Jesus Christ died for us, showing the path to heaven he came down to this earth as a human being but he was god being the son of god he took birth and because of our sins he died for us in the cross wiping away all our sins and leading us to heaven Good Friday is the culmination of Lent for the Roman Catholics as well as the Holy Week which is observed from Palm Sunday and it takes place 2 days before Easter Sunday that will be observed on March 31 throughout the world. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.